Yo, what's up guys, it's JokerLimp and another video in which I bear good news, actually great news, because you can actually turn off or reduce skill-based matchmaking in Black Ops Cold War. This is not clickbait, I really have tried and two methods uh, of reducing skill-based matchmaking actually do work for me. The first method is recommended by Technically Wild. You can check out his uh, YouTube channel in the description. He is a great Call of Duty content creator. He makes great Call of Duty content. And uh, well, he suggested two methods. One of the methods he suggested was to play only like two or three games a day, which I don't really do. I want to play more games a day. I don't want to just play two or three games a day. And even if I do play two or three games a day, it does not really work. Even if I play one game a day, it does not work. Uh, like, I have tried playing like one game a day because sometimes I just, I don't know, I didn't play Call of Duty. Uh, mostly focused on Warzone, so I played Warzone a lot. And well, uh, neglected Black Ops Cold War. And, uh, uh, doesn't work for me doesn't work if I just play like one game or two games a day It does not work for me. The games are still hard still sweaty and everybody is trying to make a twitch clip with their kills or something so Didn't work for me. Maybe it worked for him. Maybe it would work for you But he was talking about just playing very few games uh, a day the second method he mentioned and it actually did work for me is to play combined arms mosh pit games because of the larger pool of players which is actually 24 it kind of creates this gap between skill uh, of different players and just searches for a wider area of, of the skill uh, of the player base because it does not focus solely to bring uh, your skill level to the game, but it just, you know, searches for closest players uh, and searches for 23 of them, with you being the 24th. Uh, and I guess that's why it is at least uh, by a certain margin reduced, maybe not completely turned off, but the games are definitely a lot easier. Uh, it might also be because people don't tend to sweat that much in combined arms, maybe they are trying something out, or maybe not a lot of people actually play combined arms and if it had to search for your skill level of players, it would be searching for a large amount of time. So uh, yeah, that's, that's probably the most possible reason why the skill based matchmaking is reduced in combined arms mosh pit. But yes, it did work for me. Uh, and it might work for you, so you might try it. It actually, it actually made the games a lot easier, and it felt like skill-based matchmaking was not there uh, almost at all. I just enjoyed my time. I played to to my best knowledge of how I can play, uh, and I did not sweat. I just, I just played, and I just killed people, and I enjoyed myself. I, of course, I died a lot, but uh, still, it was fun. It was a good experience and I could really feel that the skill-based matchmaking was turned down a notch. Uh, and one method uh, that also worked for me and that I found myself, uh, I have not seen any video recommended to me to reduce the skill-based matchmaking this way or I don't know if anybody found out as well, but I did uh, and I found on myself that if I, because I am a mouse and keyboard player, on computer, but if I connect the controller to my computer, doesn't matter if it's uh, the Xbox controller, doesn't matter if it's the PlayStation controller, the games actually are a lot easier. And now, I don't know if it's because of the input, because Call of Duty detects that I have controller as my input, and it mostly just searches for console players or players that also use controllers, uh, but uh, it's just, there's just something that makes the games a lot easier and that just kind of avoids skill-based matchmaking altogether. I am free in my games. I it, The games are a lot easier. I'm not a, a, a good controller player. I am a pretty bad controller player. I'm not used to playing a, on a controller, but I do enjoy playing on a controller. And... The fact that I'm bad at playing on a controller and really, actually really good at playing uh, with keyboard and mouse uh, actually says 
about games that they must be easier because they if they were as sweaty as they are when I play on, on mouse and keyboard I would be getting destroyed I wouldn't I would I would not have even a chance to spawn and uh, I mean that sincerely like uh, it's it's sometimes the lobbies when I play on mouse and keyboard are so hard I barely can spawn even when I play on mouse and keyboard and I just get deleted instantly uh, and and there's no hackers in the game I have not encountered any hacker in Black Ops Cold War multiplayer which is good I really like it they must have implemented some sort of anti-cheat and I hope they will very soon implement it in Warzone because it, it it really needs it. But it's just some something that I found out myself, and I'm kind of proud of this method of reducing or turning off skill-based matchmaking. And I really, really recommend you try this as well. It is an, a very unconventional and weird way of getting rid of it because maybe you don't want to play on a controller, maybe you don't have a controller. So not many people will actually be able to try this out. Not many people will actually be able to, to not many people will actually want to try this out because they want to play on a mouse and a keyboard and not a controller. So this is kind of a, the, the weird, weird way, the weird method that not many people will actually try, but if you do, let me know in the comments if it actually worked for you, because for me it did, and I was pretty proud of myself to find that this actually works, and that I have found it myself, because sometimes I just wanted to play on a controller, so I plugged the controller into my computer and just fired up Black Ops Cold War, and the games were a lot easier. From the first game I played on a controller, and all of them uh, continuously were a lot easier than when I play on mouse and keyboard. And I really enjoyed myself. I didn't have to sweat that much. I, I don't even know how to sweat on a controller because I'm not that great. Uh, as you can see in gameplay, uh, but actually I'm, I'm getting quite a lot of kills because of the, the turned off skill based matchmaking. The, the players there are random, they're not very good, they're not very bad uh, either, they're just kind of in the middle and uh, that's where I want my skill based matchmaking to match me with players uh, and I don't know, I just wanted to mention these methods and see if they worked for you as well guys because I'm really surprised and happy that they worked for me. The combined arms method worked for me as well, worked flawlessly and the controller method works every single time. Every single time, every single game I play on a controller is marginally easier than uh, when I play on mouse and keyboard and uh, I have noticed this in like literally the ev every game I played on a controller. It's not like just one game I played on a controller was kind of easier and then all the other games I would get destroyed. No, every single game I played on a controller was a lot easier um, than when I play on mouse and keyboard and you can al also combine this uh, as, as I did, combine this with playing combined arms mosh pit. You can Switch the controller and play combined arms mosh pit and the games are going to be significantly easier, like even more easier than you are used to with just playing combined arms mosh pit on mouse and keyboard or your preferred way input device or whatever. And with that being said, it might also mean that if you are a controller player, if you play on a controller on PC, uh, and mainly on a controller and only on a controller and you are having trouble with uh, skill ace matchmaking and it kind of flipping you over you might try switching to mouse and keyboard even if you don't like it even if you are not a mouse and keyboard player even if you don't know how to play really well with it try it out try it out for yourself if it works uh, and if it works then this method is actually uh, pretty good and uh, just changing the the input uh, in Black Ops Cold War makes the skill-based matchmaking uh, go down a significant margin, and that is that's really good, and that's re I, I really like it, and I wanted to share this with you guys. I don't know if anyone else has talked about it. Uh, I figured it out that it works, and it worked every single time. So you might try it as well. I don't know if it works if you're a controller main player and if you switch to mouse and keyboard so let me know in the comments actually try it out i i recommend you try it out and i want you to try it out and let me know if it actually works 
uh, the other way around as well. Anyway, that would be it from me, guys. If you liked the video, which I hope you did, you already know what you should do. You should like the video. You should subscribe to the channel to show your love uh, to my videos for me. And I would really appreciate it. And I hope you are all having a great day. And, uh, well, what are you waiting for? Go and try these methods out. Go, go and try playing Black Ops Color without skill-based matchmaking. Anyway, guys. See you in the next video.